was probably like seven years old and I sang a Kelly Clarkson song in front of my just my like extended I remember family. This. Don't you? Granddad seven tier. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I remember that. Yeah. And they were just like Georgie, are you gonna do it? And I was like, yeah, I think so. And then they like kept pushing what me. What song was it? Breakaway. Oof. <laughs> Good song. Good song. <laughs> and I was like, just oh, I kind of been seven. I was probably like ten, nine, nine. I was probably like nine, and mm. I just learned to play the guitar, so I was kind of like playing really badly and getting chords wrong. Open, and open hand strumming. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> But I think um, that was kind of also the first time that I realised that, you know, people actually like it when I sing in front of them and and I guess I kind of got addicted to that feeling that you get after you sing in front of people and they're like, oh wow, that like that was awesome. Like, and all my cousins kind of swarmed me afterwards and it's like, oh my gosh, you're going to be famous. Like, can I be your hairstylist when you're famous? <laughs> Bridges, I kind of wrote about a time when I was kind of um, mulling over past experiences and thinking about people that I'd lost and um, just kind of how it all turned out in the aftermath of, of that and I just decided to kind of write a song to kind of get all all this crappy stuff out, <laughs> out of my system and then I came up with the lyrics for Bridges when I was lying in bed one night and then made it into a song and sent it to Caleb pretty much. <laughs> yeah. She sent it to me while I was in a lecture at uni. <laughs> so I just snuck away and listened to it, and then I couldn't concentrate for the rest of it. Because I was just like, that song's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think um, it started off really quite melancholic. Like, really, really um, quite moody and sad. And then we kind of took it into the studio and, and brought it up and like gave it a little bit of a conclusion through the music and um, has kind of a resolution through the chorus being so upbeat and, and um, happy. <laughs> and, it, and that's quite cool for me because it means that when I sing I don't really feel like the melancholy of the actual words anymore and it's, it's something really, really cool that when I sing it to an audience and they sing it back to me I don't, I don't feel like I have to feel it anymore. That's cool. Oh man. Oh, yeah. It's it's a little bit buzzy, like. They just pull it out, and it, <laughs> they pull it out of its like special box, and it's like. Whew. Yeah, it just like if you walked in there and and you just like sat down at um, Nat King Cole's piano, I didn't know that it was his. Like, it'd be like, oh, this is just a you know a normal piano, it's all good. And then you like think, oh my god, some other person's fingers, so many other people's fingers have been like playing this piano, and Frank Sinatra actually like breathed into this microphone. Yeah, it's kind of um. It's so cool to be in, in that room with all that history and um, just you think about all the all the people that have created such amazing music there and, it's, and we feel like so privileged that we get to kind of go and be a part of that world. No, I think I think with music that's one of the most important things is that you have to be really honest and um, you have to tell the truth otherwise people won't relate to it because it won't be said with conviction and and um, yeah, I, I think for me, singing things is a lot easier than saying them, and um, that's that's why I write about such personal things. And um, I don't really find it hard to sing about all these personal things in front of all these people, but things that I probably wouldn't even say to the person that they're about. <laughs> but no, I I think it's really important to um, give a piece of you in your songs. We haven't really experienced any any negative so far. Like, um, she's really supportive of us, and she's like straight off the the back of bridges. She like tweeted us and said, you know, if if you need any help or you're mm. kind of overwhelmed or need advice about what's happening, then you know, talk to me because I've been through it all. And she came to our first show. Yeah, ever, which was she, nice. Yeah, it was, and it's kind of like. That's what it's like in Auckland, New Zealand, and um, everybody kind of supports everybody else in the music industry, and it's it's quite a tight knit kind of community that we've got there, and and it's it makes it a little bit special, yeah.